What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Jolin, and we back at it with another video. I just wanted to make a quick review of the the Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Belanga fight. I just got done watching it, and yeah, it was a, it was a little bit, you know what I mean? It was a little bit dry. I'm not gonna sit there and lie to y'all. Um, when I first heard about the fight about a month ago, I was pretty pumped up about it. I watched all the little interviews about it. And just hearing about Edgar Berlanga, I'm not like a huge fan. But just hearing that, you know, in his first five, six fights, he was knocking people out in the first round. Now, when you hear stuff like that, you just think it's a heavy hitter. But at the same time, I was thinking like... Canelo Alvarez ain't nothing to play with as well, you feel me? So I was wondering if if Edgar Berlanga didn't get out of that first, second, maybe third round, was he going to have the stamina to actually keep up in the fight? Because y'all already know Canelo Alvarez, he's known to walk you down. If he sees a weakness in you, he's going to walk you down. He's going to hit you with those heavy punches. And eventually, he's going to walk you into that corner and leave you there. So I ended up watching this fight it was it was cool. I think that uh, Berlanga was he was way too big to be letting Canelo just walk him down and you know land as many punches as he was doing. I was expecting him to really you know land more punches and you know kind of big dog him a little bit. You know what I mean? This dude was I want to say Canelo Alvarez is five seven uh, and this guy is like six one. So I'm sitting there looking like. You feel me? When you looking at those guys, they sitting there, you know, head butted up and kind of just in the body for a lot of the fight. And I'm thinking like, damn, this shit is getting real dry. Now, Canelo Alvarez in that third round ended up hitting him with that nice one and laid him on that, laid him on that mat. You feel me? There was another time in the rounds that, you know, there was a, it looked like he got tripped. But if you really looked at the replay, Canelo's leg was already there. It's not like he's sticking his foot out like, hey, I'm trying to trip you. So it was more like a, hey, an accidental fall. I wouldn't even call that a knockdown from Canelo. You know, we're not going to count that. But the fight overall, it was just, uh, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what I seen when I was watching the, the Bud Crawford fight. You know what I mean? I said, hey, I think that, that Bud Crawford and Canelo, that could potentially be the next fight for these two fighters, if, you know, Canelo lands this win, which we knew he was, I was actually going to place a little bet on the uh, DraftKings to try to win me a couple dollars, but they was talking about you put $10 down and you get 73 cents in return, so I wasn't really with that, but I think the Canelo Alvarez fight kind of reminded me of the Bud Crawford fight. It wasn't too exciting. There wasn't a whole lot of heavy hitter uh, action in the fight. But I think once those two fighters come together, I'm, I'm really interested to see what that could bring because they were saying that these two fighters would, might be going up against each other maybe December. They asked Canelo what he was going to be doing at the end of the fight. And he was like, you know, I'm just going to relax a little bit. And then I'll decide what I want to do. So I'm really interested to see what Canelo decides to do because Bud been saying, you know, he's down to take the fight. And now that they both open, they just won their last, you know, fights. I think it's come December, Christmas time. You know what I mean? We not really looking. We looking for Tank Davis, but if Tank don't want to fight, I say next in line is the Canelo Alvarez and Bud Crawford fight. So I'm real interested to see. I just hope that both of the fighters or even one of these fighters come with more energy than these last two fights that I've seen from each of them because it wasn't really anything. There's not a whole lot of highlights you gonna see these fights like maybe a clip here a clip there for a day or two there's not any really uh memorable moments in these two fights so i'm hoping you know they was just saving energy they saving money for you know saving time for the bag you know what i mean they don't want to catch an l and lose that bag so they just winning these opponents doing what they got to do whether it be on points or knockdowns or however they're getting it and they get into that money so yeah man like i said i just wanted to make this quick short video on what i thought of the fight and what I'm hoping is going to happen from these two fighters. Like I said, uh, Berlanga, he did a 
he did a all right job. Like I said, we wasn't betting on him from the jump. At least I wasn't. Like I said, I was kind of interested to see what he would do, seeing that his record was, you know, he's knocking him down first round. But if you knocking him down first round, who's to say that you got stamina to get it past the fourth, fifth, sixth round? So, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what Canelo Alvarez does, what Buck Crawford does, because the sport of boxing is, is blowing up. You know what I mean? They got the undisputed game. If you're a video game player, you're probably going to be grabbing that undisputed game on the 10th like your boy and yeah man i'm about to get out of here so until next time you already know what it is and you know who it is it's jolin is varsity Peace.